President Trump has made it clear he wants to get rid of an undocumented immigrants with criminal records. Now the White House is putting 23 countries on notice that if they refuse to take back their citizens who were in the U.S. illegally and have committed crimes, there's going to be trouble. The Trump administration says those countries could lose access to visas, among other things. William Lajeunesse is live in L.A. with more on the story. All right, William, 23 countries. How many people are we talking about here? Over 60,000. You know, there are three kinds of criminal aliens, Shannon. Those who are in jail, those let go by sanctuary cities, and those released because their home country won't take them back. But not once in the last eight years did the State Department even threaten these so-called recalcitrant countries, saying, if you don't take your people back, your people can't come here. Donald Trump said yesterday he will play hardball. The day is over when they can stay in our country and wreak havoc. We are going to get them out, and we're going to get them out fast. Our order also does the following. Ends the policy of catch and release at the border. Requires other countries to take back their criminals. They will take them back. Top seven countries, China, Cuba, Haiti, Brazil, India, Pakistan, and Vietnam, all told over 100,000, 60,000, again, criminal aliens, out free because these countries won't take them back. State Department could retaliate or threaten to cut off their aid, runs into the hundreds of millions, but the last two presidents refused to enforce the law. Only once did the State Department do so. Shannon, and that was Guyana in 2001, and they immediately took their people back. Bottom line, Donald Trump on this diplomatic issue is not going to be diplomatic. Back to you. It's been a long time. All right, William, thank you.